Welcome to the two minute drill for today. We're talking about the idea of worship so far this week and what a great subject that we often overlook. That we often tend to think that worship is just on Sunday morning gathering at church when we sing. When in reality, worship should be constant for us. It should be daily for us. And so I want to start with this question and then I want to leave it with you. The question is this, what will you think on today that will cause your heart to worship him? What will you think on today that will cause your heart to worship him? I have a really cool story that I want to share with you today that has caused my heart to worship him over and over and over again the last several months. And it has everything to do with the presence of a coach and the Lord's gift to me to see what happened on one specific night. At the beginning of the school year this year, I got to meet with a coach in my area weekly, and we we studied multiple different things, a variety of things. We talked about the philosophy of coaching, teaching in the classroom, the theology of the Bible. We talked about family. We, we prayed together. We cared for each other, and it was rich, and it was rewarding. And honestly, it would have been okay to just keep doing that and stop right there. But it got to the point where I think we both had a prompting in our heart to take the next step. And, and so I called him up one night and I asked if he wanted to go to the FCA huddle with me at his high school. And he said, yes. So I picked him up and we showed up. And I remember walking down the basement of this house and I remember seeing the kids' faces light up. There, there is not a word that I have that can describe the reaction in that room and the power that that coach had that night. I mean, just the football players, let alone in that room, couldn't believe that coach was there, couldn't believe that coach cared for them, that took the time out of the way outside of the field, outside of caring about their athletic performance, that he would care for their souls. What was really cool is after the lesson, the coach jumped right in and he ended up leading one of the small groups with, with these student athletes, with, with some of the boys that were on his football team and to see them converse and, and talk about other things than football, to talk about eternal things, weighty things. And this caused my heart to worship with joy. See, this idea of multiplication and discipleship, the, the daily workings and daily rhythms. It's caused my heart to worship all this school year as I think about that. I took a picture of him in his small group and, and I look at that to remind me that the power that a coach has in student athletes' lives, to care about the transformation in the students' lives. It reminded me of first Corinthians 11, 1, where Paul says, be imitators of me as I am of Christ. Or maybe a better way of saying it is follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. The coach wanted to take the lead in this, not just show you the X and O's on the field, but to care for their eternal salvation. So I'll leave you with this question again. What will you think on today that will cause your heart to worship him? Thanks. Have a great rest of the week worshiping him.